Howdy, this is Lemmy with RevZilla, coming at you with another two minute lesson. Today we're gonna to talk about whether or not you can jump your motorcycle battery with a car. I can make this actually a really fast two minute lesson. Yes, you absolutely can do that. <laughs> as long as you're jumping a pair of 12 volt vehicles that both have negative ground, the process for jumping a motorcycle and a car is exactly the same as it is for jumping a pair of cars or a pair of motorcycles. The batteries don't care. The different size between the batteries doesn't matter. Your motorcycle is just gonna use whatever it needs from the car, and then that's it. It just works. A lot of people don't seem to believe that, but I'm telling you, that's the way to jump one of these. I will offer you two caveats, though, that are probably pretty important, and you do wanna keep in the back of your head, because I'm guessing if you're watching this video, you maybe are standing next to a broken motorcycle. The first is this, if you're using a set of automotive jumper cables, not these little motorcycle guys, be really careful when you go to jump on the motorcycle side of things. A set of automotive clamps are much bigger. They're usually four or six inches long and you can kind of open them up with your entire hand. They work fine on a car simply because you have all that room in the engine bay. However, the clamps for a motorcycle can be really unwieldy simply because you're Battery terminals are often very close to the frame, which is usually used as a ground. It can be very easy to introduce a dead short if you're using automotive style jumper cables on a motorcycle. Just be really careful that you don't have that problem. The second thing I would actually also recommend you do too is as soon as it's practical, get that motorcycle home and check out the health of the battery. Test your battery, make sure that thing is okay. The reason I say this is smaller batteries like the ones found in power sports equipment and motorcycles don't really take kindly to being discharged fully. If for whatever reason you've discharged your battery, whether it's a bad stator or perhaps you just left the headlight or your key on, make sure you check out the health of that battery. If you don't know how to do that, we've got some common tread articles that can walk you through the process. However, you want to find out about a bad battery before it strands you again. Now you know a little bit more about jumping your motorcycle and what to do after the motorcycle fires up. If you want to learn other cool stuff in a short period of time, check out other two minute lessons. I'm Lem, I'm out of here.